group of politicians of those proposed new political party, the African Reformation Party, ARP, led by Kumle Ognola, a renowned businessman and former People's Democratic Party PDP, has a representative who represented East Asia several constituencies. The event which took place at prestigious barrage inn and hotel already in Asia later place on 1st October 2024. So many political big wigs drawn from across the country. Ambassador Zara Abubakar, National Women Leader. Ambassador Osumba K. Adedayo, Vice Chairman, North Central. Ambassador Witness Basi, Vice Chairman, South South. Ambassador Flora Ubunwa, Vice National Chairperson, South East. And many others were in attendance. Honorable Kunle Okunola, who spoke to our correspondent, said the party, if elected into power, would prove party leaders of the country, beginning from 1960 till date, and that what they have stolen would be recovered for the good of the Nigerians. And I'm the convener of ARPM, which is African Reformation People Congress Movement, who are seeking to register a political party known as African Reformation Party today as a new dawn in Nigerian politics. Based on the fact that all the existing political parties are based on corruption through the sales of nomination form, our political party want to offer form free of charge to see the difference. If Nigeria that have been given offices free of charge, we do better and remember where they start from. For tonight, today's event is supposed to be a pointer to the whole world that we are ever ready. We have national coordinator of our great movement who is giving back to the national executive officers of our proposed political party. We are spread all over Nigeria. Today, the northern representative come from the three region in the north which is not central, not east, and the northwest. Why the southern representation come from the three regions in the south? All of them are here present, 14 of us. Two, two per region, plus the national convenant and the diaspora, who travel all the way from Canada to Nigeria yesterday. You know how much that the cost of the flight. You know how much that the cost of people coming from Adawawa to this place. You know how much the cost people coming from Bauchi to this place. And we come, not because of anything, but to discuss the progress of Nigeria. With our personal effort and money, we will do that in vain, and we are not for this seat of Nigeria. We are ever ready. And we've done it before. We are the visionary people who sought the Nubu presidency. Come 2023, because a lot of people will be alleging that you are working for Tinubu. No! If truly we are the ones that saw the vision, we are telling Nigeria we have seen another new vision because we expect Inubu to do better. But it's old. You can blame him. But in order for me to pitch tent with another candidate, I said, who do to Nigeria, we are better project ourselves. Because at the saying, if you want things done properly, you do it by yourself. So today, we decided to start from the foundation by forming a political party because we have met the prerequisite, the needs that the constitution are putting down for political party registration, which is 24 states out of the 36 states, including Abuja. We have our head office secretariat in Abuja. And we have secretariat in all the 36 states of the federation. And we have numerous members. So we are more than qualified to be registered as a party because that's what the constitution says. It guarantees our right of association to form a party and which is the reason why we are starting with forming a new political party towards 2027. If anybody pitched that with the existing political party, 
it is a mere waste of time. It's a deceit, distraction. Because we've done it in the past. You all remember when Peter B left BDP and joined Labour. The same Labour today in shambles. When Kwakwaso joined NMPP, the one only state, Kano. Today, NMPP has spent Kwakwaso. You find that Nigeria is a joke. And that's why we gather ourselves as a youth who have never tasted political office and never been corrupt. We don't have skeleton in our cupboard. We want to work for Nigeria. And that's why we think and reason for Nigeria. And I want to say it for the record purpose. Once I'm being elected as the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, I will, probe, I will probe the political leader of Nigeria from 1960 to date. Their involvement in delegating our nation. Not for no reason. I will not go back by looking at shadow, by looking for money to develop this country. The money is in what? It is in safe for me, and I have the arts to do so, because I'm not being favored by any political leaders of yesterday who are political dealers of today. Thank you. Thank you. The women leader have this to say. My name is Ambassador Zara Abubakar, the National Chairperson for Contract and Mobilization, also the woman leader of ARPM political movement. Um, we are here to call the Nigerians to join us to rescue this nation. Because what we are in now, we are in problem, we are suffering a lot, and we need change. And we want the members, the Nigerians, to help support us to rescue our nation. Okunola, who displayed several letters the party has written to INEC since 2020 till date, with response from the electoral body, revealed that if by December 2024 the party is not registered, it will have no other choice than to occupy INEC office. 